Okay. Oh, wait. This is picking me up right where I left off. Um. Okay. Let me see. What is this called on Steam? Or on Twitch? Alright, so. Um. This would be real mist. Oh, let's just say mist. Okay, Twitch knows what mist is. Oh, I think you possibly might be remembering a different game. Does this use a controller? I assume not. How amazing would it be? Options, move speed, WASD. Oh, you can use the mouse to look around, but explore everything using WASD and arrows. Okay. So yeah, this is like free form. You can tilt the camera about everywhere. Um, and move with the arrow keys. Whoa, what did I just step into? Alright, we don't need the little... Oh, I'm sorry, we, we're stuck with the hand. Oh, that's okay. Some kind of clue as to what I'm doing would be cool, though. see something out here. It looks like... Well, it's hard to see. Alright, so I guess we'll walk onto the island in the center. Having failed at finding anything else constructive to do out here. trying to play this forever ago and getting super stuck. This reminds me of another adventure game though um, by the name of Robot City. I guess I found a way to access this room. But I still don't see the point. This is some kind of torture room or prisoner cell or something like that. Uh, apparently I can't click on the things. This is a game where you could actually click on things. Wait, if I click down, it takes me down and back up. I could look up if I wanted to. Um, wait, is this a page? Okay, I have a page, guys. What do I do with the page? Um, I want to read it. But not really. Yeah, no, this is absolutely a beautiful game. I'm so confused though. Why would the game give me a page here? It's not like I have a book to insert it in. At least not in here. Um...
Yeah, so there's two sides of this island. One that looks like a whole bunch of... Looks... I don't know. Like, war zone of some sort. And the other side looks all fanciful um, and full of riches. So I'm still holding this page. Like... And I've looked at all these items the last time I was playing this. There's your chest set. Huh. You can hear that little song in the background there. Wait, what? So I'm sitting in the chair now. There's a goblet on my left, and a nothing on my right. Here's a little bird. Oh, this reminds me of the thing from Nancy Drew. I wonder if that was on purpose. But it's... Like, there's got to be a place I can insert the page. Because you don't have an inventory system in this game. At least not one that I'm aware of. So, I don't know, do I go to the center of this building? Wait, was there a book out here? That's not a book. Yeah, you can type in combinations in the uh, combination thing. But... I am in need of a book. It's a shame you can't jump in this game, and as far as I can tell, you can't run either. Yeah, you'd think that there would be a puzzle. Maybe the puzzle is that there's no puzzle. It's an interesting perspective, though. So you can sit in the two thrones and look at what the various rooms look like. You can also go up the center staircase here. Or down as the case may be. There's a way to go down, too. Um, for people's sanity, the game does introduce a flashlight. So you can wave this around. Which I think is a fantastic visual effect, too. Um, but I haven't been able to find anything loose with this. So... Right, so I have been able to go like up and down the elevator, I think. I just haven't found any way to make... Pro oh, what's this? I thought I saw something here. Apparently that's just my imagination. But I've also found you could just push the button here and go down the staircase. So I use this to orient the elevator. And by enough trial and error, you can get the elevator oriented such that you're able to go up it. Um, the 
at those speed running strats. Going backwards up the staircase. I would not advise going backwards up a staircase in real life, by the way, because that would be dangerous. Okay. Huh. That's... I thought that center button would just merely close the door, but it appears to have done something more than that. This should take us up to the top. Apparently it also opens the door. Alright. Oh, did I find a book here forever ago last time? I was trying to, like, pick up that gear or something, because I just couldn't find anything else to interact with on this... This lonely, lonely island. Um, there's nothing up here. Other than the one cut away in the wall. Which itself doesn't have anything interesting either. I mean, there's the elevator. You could ride the elevator up and down all day. But, like, this is supposed to be, in my mind, the most interesting attribute in the room. And it just doesn't conceal anything. Or it does such a fantastic job concealing whatever it is it's hiding that the game just won't show me that I can interact with this. This has got to be a red herring, because you can't interact with any of this. Um, I guess the other thing is we did see that symbol thing in front of the island. Um, we could punch some symbols into that tablet um, and hope that something happens. But I think I've just, like, failed to observe something that's in some way essential to solving this. Is there an observatory? Yes, the main island that we came from has the observatory. But we can't get back there until we find um, the book to get back. And I'm not finding it here anywhere. I mean, I could try to wander outside if, um, if there's a way to view the outside. So here we are on the platform. Sometimes you can click on an object um, to examine it closer, and the character will position themselves to better look at it. But usually, or sometimes the character will just pick up the object if you click on it.
get a closer look at what's under there, but apparently there's nothing there. Um... I really have no idea where to go, what to look at, what to do. These games... I don't know, are intimidating in more ways than one. So see so we have like this arch thing in this painting in the background. We have some birds over here. Castle. Um, we have a person. Mountain. Some geodes. You have a person, so I guess this is somehow related to the person. We have birds and a bird. We have this portrait and what appears to be an empty thing. Is there a side room somewhere here? On the prisoner's side, it was pretty clear that there was a panel you could just walk into, uh, revealing a side entryway. I'm not seeing any such thing over here. Look through the telescope. Okay, it's been a while since I've done that. Why can't I, like, look around while I'm looking into the telescope? Am I just supposed to glare at this? I mean, that could be. Just imagine, though, like, you're looking into the telescope and some monster comes up behind you. It just goes like, boo! And, I mean... But yeah, apparently the telescope doesn't see anything out here as it stands currently. You could try various rotations of this tower to see, like, I don't know, if one of them can allow you to spy something out of the telescope. Oh, do we need to adjust it first? Let's find out. Strafe, 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 strafe. There we go. Um, is there anything to adjust here? Um, gosh, I wish so. And we could open up the chessboard. And yeah, let's play its own little jingle there. And while the chessboard is playing... Huh. I still don't see anything. Are those platonic solids of the three shapes? So, yeah, here we have an octahedron. Here we have a dodecahedron. And here we have some other hedron, polyhedron thing. Wait. This is a D8. This on the end looks like a D... what? That's more than 12. I think the one in the center is a D12. Yeah, I don't know what this is. Some other regular polyhedron. I like this picture. It's a nice picture. Uh 
Oh, what? I can touch these things? Okay. Double clicking any one of these doesn't do anything positive. So confused. This looks like a puzzle. The puzzle is what is the puzzle. Okay, apparently the puzzle involves only act interacting with these three polygons, or polyhedra here. Um, that's an interesting observation. Especially because I can actually interact with these. Like, there are a few things in the room that I can touch. I can touch the telescope to some extent, but I can't really do much with it. Can I look at the portrait? Apparently the character doesn't care to look at the portrait. I think that's the ship that we sailed on to get here. No, it's not. I forget how it is that we ended up here in the first place. Um... This game's hard. sense. Octahedron, dodecahedron, and icosahedron. So the latter of these is a 20-sided, or 20-faced um, regular polyhedron. So what happens if I just keep touching that one? Okay, so all these take about the same time to deactivate. It's not a timing puzzle. Hmm. Confusion abounds. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I'm not sure what else to try there. Primary colors. Yep, there we are, all three primaries. What confuses me most is that I have the page. Like, the page is supposed to be a really powerful item in Mist. But I have no book in which to insert it. Um, so kind of rendered moot. Uh, oh, check that out. This corresponds to what we found on the prisoner side, where we found the page. Apparently you just have to click things until you find this room. That looks like a book of some sort. Oh, a red page. 
So there's a red page and a blue page. Okay. Greater context would still be appreciated. Now, in fairness, I think I thought last time I was playing this, which was forever ago, I read that this room existed, but I just never succeeded in finding it. I did go so far as to try to, like, read up on some kind of strategy, something or other. Um, but yeah, we've collected both the red page and the blue page. This game doesn't have an inventory system, right? Turn, volume, flashlight, save, settings, and quit. Um, should we use the hints? Because I am so screwed. <laughs> yeah, yellow page. <laughs> We're not going to find such a thing. Um, so yeah, we are in the mechanical age here. Uh, view the user guide or advice. Well, let's start with the user guide. You've stumbled a pause. Oh, I was going to say a pause, but this is a cross. You've stumbled across a curious old book and touched an intriguing image on its pages. Suddenly, your world fades to black. And you now find yourself on the dock of a mysterious island with no idea what to do. <laughs> Alright. Pick your interface. Classic mode. Move options. Options. A little more help. The best advice is to pay attention to detail and collect all the information you can. Get a notebook or journal and write down any information that seems appropriate. You'll be glad you did. That sounds like work. Those bits and pieces of information are the pieces of the puzzle that come together to reveal more and more realness. The key to experiencing realness is to lose yourself in the worlds. Act and react as if you're really there. That's no excuse for bad game design. But some may argue, well, it's part of the aesthetic that you just have no freaking idea what you're doing. Isn't it more fun when you struggle with it for hours and then figure it out? That's why we play chess. Um, like once you've played chess, you'll have appreciated the struggle of spending hours on something and then still not having quite figured it out but made pretty good progress on it. Um, Also, I'd have to, like, go to the store to get a notebook and paper. Alright. Every little detail. Alright, so here, you see there's, like, metal plating, and there's a little, like... I move around the cursor, but you see here's a little texture thing, and there's one, and then there's one, and there's one. And then there's another texture thing going the other direction, slashing the other way. And then there's another row in this sheet plating that goes the way that... Okay. I mean, there's a lot of detail in this game. And kudos to the artists for showing off. Um, open up an instance of Notepad. Yeah, I should probably do that. <laughs> um, 
If only because it would make the stream look ridiculous. I'm in full screen mode, though, so I can't... But I get the sentiment, like, it'd be nice to put a little notepad in the corner. Of all my dumb notes about all the dumb things. Okay, we got yellow coins, and silver coins, and that's it. And they're in the shape of, like, Ursa Minor, and uh, Ursa Major, and one of them looks like a teddy bear, and no. I don't know. This is... This looks like some... This is a wine rack, right? It's a red wine rack with green and red bottles. Dude, can we not, like, open all the wine bottles and celebrate while we're in here? Okay. The, the challenging part about this game is that, like, I don't know, I appreciate in some sense that the game doesn't let me click on everything. But it's frustrating that there's so few things that you can click on. You just explore the space, and there's, like, nothing to learn, nothing to solve, nothing to figure out. Other than that one silly tower, well, there's the tower rotation, and then there's a tablet on the outside with the four symbols. Was there a scroll in the wine rack? I thought I clicked all over this, but maybe not. Wait. Does double clicking turn off the flashlight? Oh, there it is. I found the scroll. Serious. Your greed sickens, and your desire for wealth and plunder is never satisfied. I will instruct my subjects not to pay you your... your... new tax. And you know they'll listen to me. Regards, um, Akiar. Wait, I'm serious. Your greed sickens, and your desire for wealth and plunder is never satisfied. I will instruct my subjects not to pay your new tax, and you know they'll listen to me. Regards, Shannar, I guess, Ackerman, I, reading cursive is hard. Alright, so, I was gonna say, like, here's capital letter S, Y, Y, I, R, A. So, if you rearrange those letters, you almost spell out Syria. Uh, you can take like the first letter of each line S Y Y P S M Y K R. Um, but okay. Some guy named Sirius. Um, is, they're not going to take him seriously because his taxes are unjust. Um, there's a bottle facing all the way through the wine rack that seems to be facing. No, oh, that's the post supporting it. Never mind. Um, I don't know what else to do here. Um, we can exit back into the main room. Or we can further look around here, but I think we pretty much nailed it. I wonder if there's a similar room elsewhere. Oh, 
Oh, that's off to the side of the chair. Under the portrait. But there's like nowhere else with a hidden compartment or chamber or anything of that sort. Um, I mean, there is only one other thing in this game. Or, in, I'm sorry, in this age. The only other thing I can interact with would be the markers over here. So, if I can translate those letters into symbols, that would be excellent. I'm not able to look into the vases now. There's ten symbols. So if this is a year number, um, there'd only be ten thousand years to iterate through. Wait a second. Do I recognize any of these symbols? Can we say that that's a one? No, this would not be a two though. Yeah, there's ten symbols, but I can't figure out which are which. Now, realistically, if you were stuck on an island and you had nothing to do but punch numbers into that machine, you'd do it all day. I could also put us back into classic mode, where I could drive everything with the mouse and wouldn't have to strain with both hands to play this game. Honestly, that has some allure to it. Um, okay, no hidden room there. Click, 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 click. We've already been in the hidden room off to the side there. Yeah, like. We can't look down the vases any deeper than this. I click on the vases, they don't do anything. Um, you can go up and down and up and down all day. Um, no hidden rooms here. Oh gosh, I wish there were hidden rooms. Um, one theory would be that what if we go into the room, open the chessboard, and run up the elevator? Is there any value to doing that? I've got to believe no, but um, maybe somehow doing this is advantageous. Maybe we've got to activate the chessboard and then run and try pressing the down button in the elevator. Now this all looks the same. The four lights on the floor, and several more elsewhere. Um, Now, oh yeah, now I remember I've seen this before too. Um, I 
forget what this is for. What are the floor lights directed at? And we got this hole in the ceiling. directed at something specifically? Still nothing in there. And there's a floor light directed over at this wall. There's nothing on this wall though. This floor light's not doing its job. I mean, that wall's all dark and stuff. Um, yeah, are these floor lights directed at anything else? Is there another hidden panel somewhere here? I just click on all the things. not a button on the bottom of this frame. Um, oh. Okay. Uh, I seem to have summoned the elevator that way. Oh, okay. So... Maybe the button, the switches at the top of the elevator. Ah, uh, shoot. I'm starting to remember some things I've read about. I hear that these switches at the top of the elevator control uh, the rotation of this entire island. But I don't claim to know how any of that works. Oh, well, then you push the button in the middle. Step off the platform before you get sucked in. Yeah, so then you can go back down and take a look at what's happened here. Um, I was going to try to go off the beaten path and just explore that path off to the right or the left or whatever, but I'm going to have to stay on the path here, apparently. The game doesn't let me diverge. Okay. So we'll say it's that VVV, VVV spike thing and a half crescent. Um, that's all. Well, that limits my space of things to punch into that symbol thing uh, from 10,000 to 100. So I could just, if I find a way to rotate this and be able to see, uh, or be able to punch the remaining symbols in, that would be great. Granted, you're probably also supposed to find um, the other islands or something, because we see 
Like, there's the half moon over there. There's, I think, where we came from. There's more stuff off to the side. Basically, I can't interact with anything on this barren island here. I can't really explore that island at all. Just have to get back into the tower. Um, yeah, unfortunately the game won't let me go up the elevator. Um, like sitting on top of it while pushing the button to raise it. Unfortunately that's kind of not allowed. So let's go back up. Okay. Um. Wait, now how did I... Oh, that's right. I have to go inside the elevator, punch the center button, and then step out. Wait! Just kidding. That would hurt, though. Right. You know, certainly there's that possibility. So, another thing is um, we're going to get better at navigating this place. Um, and remembering how to get uh, in and out this door quickly. There's the spikes in the half crescent. Over here we've got stuff. We've got flora. How about that? Okay. So, yeah, we've got a coliseum. And I'll just call that a three. It's the one thing that has like three symbols on it. It's unfortunate that like none of these side islands have anything worth looking at. Alright, so I see there's nothing out off to the side there. So that means when I go back up, I'm going to pull that switch twice, which will hopefully reset um, us back to being able to access the island with the marker switches or whatever we call that. Jeez, this is confusing. And the most confusing part is figuring out that that center button doesn't do anything on the bottom floor, but does do something on the top floor. Or rather, on the bottom floor, all it does is close the door. But up here... Yeah, I mean, who would have guessed that the button would do two different things? Is there no way I can see the orientation of this island from up here? Well, this could take a while. Um, let's see how close I got it. My guess is that I'm probably nowhere near. This is a bit inconvenient. And 
Now, I guess I haven't completely explored the basement. Like, it's possible that the tower rotation somehow functions... No, the tower rotation in the basement is to allow me to access the elevator. Okay. Close enough. Jeez. Alright, so... got that. A little three thing. Spikes. And uh, the half crescent. A ah, freaking time. Alright, so what have we accessed here? Achievement unlocked. Mechanical age. Whew! Okay, we've made it back, guys. And we're holding a red page. All right, um, now I know that the red page is in blue page. Oh, here we are, the red book. I do happen to know the story behind this game, um, so I don't want to spoil anything for people who've not played it before, who've not had a chance over the last 20-something years. Um, yeah, I would encourage people to play it. Um, I honestly don't know whether Railbird has played this or not, although he has some ideas um, about how to play the game, so I kind of believe that he has played this before, or at least knows something about it. But for other viewers, I still am reticent to spoil what's going on here. I like the story behind the game. The mechanics are more than a bit challenging. This guy seems to really like red pages. Um, but you know, we found a blue page. Yeah, I think it's been too long for us all. We don't remember all the little details. Um, but he sure likes his red pages, that's for sure. Um, I like the levels 
or the ages of this game that actually give you a mystery to solve instead of being just a point and click adventure. Um, something that makes you think and try to figure out a puzzle. Um, so where I'm a bit confused at the moment is that was the mechanical age. Um, I forget how it is that I even entered the mechanical age in the first place. Oh, check it out. Did we also bring back the blue page? So. Okay. Yeah, yeah, no, he likes his pages, that's for sure. Um, so I don't understand whether I've actually successfully retrieved both pages from the mechanical age or not. God, I hope so. Um, but I don't know. Let's... Poof. Yep, we've saved our progress. It's a quaint little library here. I think this would actually be a reasonable... Um, like, this sort of view would be a pretty cool screen capture for background, just in general. Uh, something like that. Is it F12 to full screen? Or capture? Yes, we've captured this. I like this. This is a nice aesthetic. Yeah, I... It, I seem to remember, and the game seemed to have pointed out to me, that I can't carry both pages at once. Um, meaning that we're going to have to go back to the mechanical age and grab the other page and GTFO. Um, is there a yellow book? No, there's not a yellow book. So yeah, if I only made one trip, we've got to go back and extract the other page. Okay. Now, I think my last playthrough of this was like a year or more ago. So even finding my way to the mechanical age is going to be a bit of a struggle here. Um, I like this, though. Like, the water looks pretty cool. I've seen water that looks even cooler, but that looks pretty cool. Um... I mean, I've played with this thing. I forget exactly what that did. I think it raised um, the treehouse or something. Or gave me a combination to the safe. Or I don't remember. Whoa! Did you hear that? Listen. Let's do that once more. Everybody knows what that sound is. It's not just any door. It's the uh, door noise. There's no way I remember this, right? Yeah, that's not it. Um, it's some 
number in the upper 500s um, as opposed to the bottom 500. Um, yeah, that's not the mechanical age. How the crap did I enter the mechanical age the last time I was playing this? Do I have to solve it all over again? Probably. At least we get to look around this, the main island. Yes, I did the little energy matching thing here. That was actually pretty simple. Um, which I think enabled me to enter the rocket. If I go here, flip the switch, that doesn't actually do anything, but you could actually go into the door. Pretty please? Or do I have to flip like this, the circuit breaker here? Um, I don't remember. There's so many steps. I think if you flip the circuit breakers and have the correct power going to um, the rocket, it'll let you enter the door. I hope that this is correct. Oh, come on, let me in. Oh well. We endeavored. Yeah, the squeaky door, though, is a really nice touch. Um, hearkening back to a better era. An era where we had, where our concerns weren't so much about um, everything changing all at once. All right, so is there anything else? I guess now that I flipped the circuit breakers. There was nothing for me to touch here, right? Just touch the live wire and get zapped. Get fried. Alright, so I'm pretty sure I already touched this one. Um, can I parkour? No parkour! Literally unplayable. Alright, so... All right, let's flip the switch. These are all just marker switches, though, that just activate the switches on the marker map. But yeah, now that I've flipped all of those circuit breakers, this puzzle resets, or no? No, it remembers that I'm sending the correct output to the ship. nice if you could like use brute force to break through a couple of these puzzles. Ones where you think you've done everything and the game is just teasing you saying you've missed one little tiny insignificant detail somewhere. But because this is a puzzle game every detail is significant. Um, no parkour behind the building either. 
Damn. Bummer. Um, just kidding. Oh, can we not go between the? Oh, that looked like a, a gap that I could manage. A gap I could make my way through. Um. Oh, is this where I have to like go to the library and punch in a code into the astronomy center to get this to open? That seems challenging. But I'm not sure what else I could do to try to activate that. Mist does stand up pretty well. Um, at least this animated version does. The game design does stand the test of time. It's just that the budget could have been just a little bit more, resulting in something better. Um. Yeah, I don't know where to go next. I want to go back and return to the mechanical age, but it's not happening. Um, I think last time I played through this, I read this all aloud for us all to appreciate together. Um, so yeah, you can look for these signs at the appropriate dates and times in the Astronomy Center. Here's a third journal. Um, I guess last time I looked at this I wasn't too impressed by the fact that um, much of the ink got smudged out. Or otherwise lost. I'm leaving today in order to bring back Sirius and Akinar. I had left them back in Channel Wood. I believe they will uh, they will enjoy all there is to see here. The age seems to have stabilized. I know the meteors set off a period of volcanic activity um, by piercing high into the shallow crust. But the tremors the, the tremors have become few. I have just noticed that a large amount of this journal has been curiously vanished from the very pages in which I wrote for the last 18 months. Fortunately, I have copied many of my construction notes to another journal. I do not understand the many mysteries of this world, but I trust I will discover logical answers to my questions. Let me try parsing that again. I do not understand the many mysteries of this world, but I trust I will discover logical answers to my questions. I have a feeling that many of my questions can be answered in another age to which I hope to travel soon. But for now, I must simply accept this world's mysteries and take pride in my accomplishments. Oh. Wow. Sorry to hear that about Riven. I do hope someday to play that. <laughs> okay, so it's occurring to me that, like, here we have a C, and we have another C, and an E flat, and a G, and a B flat. Somebody likes their jazz music. Here's, um, is that this island? That can't be this island. What am I looking at? I don't know what that is. I want to say it's this island, but this island looks quite different. So we can just go over, uh, not there, here. I wish I could control this entirely using the mouse, but have freeform control. So. 
Oh, hang on. Whoops. Tower rotation. So I can turn the tower here toward the rocket and then if I remember right oh that right so I can close the door to explore the tower all right where did the tower go there it is Uh, this is supposed to answer the mysteries of how to get into the rocket. Do I have to take the elevator? Uh, yes, I do. There's no alternative to taking the elevator to getting the information we require. Alright, so let's step in. Assuming I can figure out how to step into an elevator. Oh, to seal that and then push the button. Wow, picky. It's not a self-closing door. Also, what's with the little ribbon that stands around there? For, oh, I guess that's a handle of some sort. So here, we can turn on our flashlight. You can see here is a book. So hey look, we're facing the rocket. Big surprise, right? Um, but no, the other clues here are supposed to give you what you need to be able to access that. So, key. Okay. Gives you the information you require. 59 volts. Wait. So, why did I do 25 volts? Apparently 59 is the target. Um, okay. That's really subtle. <laughs> 59. Apparently that's the only clue you need. Whatever could 59 volts mean? Maybe it means you have to have five 9-volt batteries. Maybe that's what the five 9-volts refers to. No, but honestly, um... For some reason I had that room down there set to 25. I thought I did that on purpose last time I was playing. But apparently the game's telling me I just messed up somewhere. Here, let's use the flashlight outside. Okay, I can actually use the flashlight outside, and it does have an effect. Uh, I'm surprised. It slows down the game for sure, so let's turn it off. But, um, but I'm amazed that the game will even let you do that. Like, the protagonist won't complain and say, no, I refuse to use a flashlight out in the daytime. Um, Alright, so let's hit some buttons. Boop. Boop. 49. 57. 67. Um, let's just mess around with this. 55. 74. I mean, yeah, you're supposed to... Um, do this somewhat intelligently instead of just randomly pushing buttons. But um, this is efficient. 69. Okay, so that's 22 right there. Um, oh, a 1 and a 2. There we go, 59 volts. So now I just need to go throw the switches back. Um, 
and we'll have 59 volts. Other switch. And then assuming there's no other switches to activate this, um, and we declare victory and open the door with great success. There we go. All right. Oh, check that out. I don't remember ever having seen this before, but... The fact that I've pushed it twice, though, might... Let's try this differently. Okay, I'm confused. Did I not follow the instructions? Maybe it was the high note. I forget in what order I need to do these, but... Is that incorrect? check out the book again because I'm being dumb dum da dum 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 da dum dum da dum 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 da dum 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 the octave, then the high E flat, and then the G and the B flat. So I had it right the first time. Oh, this is going to require me to go put 59 volts back in everything and trip the breakers again. No. making that zapping noise. I mean, I've solved the puzzle. It's... That's the melody. And this machine here doesn't like this melody. Rocket Man. 
Da, 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 da. Is that the same C that we heard over here? Or am I playing things in the wrong register? Bomb! And... Yeah, that's a C. Okay, forget game objectives. How's this go? Actually, not have to click on all those. I can just. Okay. Well. Clearly, this is super addicting. Now, if only you could play like two keys at the same time, then we'd be talking. You could play like chopsticks on here. Um, what else? Yeah, I think that's about it. Okay, well, um, I think that's more interesting than the game itself, in some cases. Um. gotta open a secret room somewhere but uh, at least we can play the piano or organ or whatever they got there so yeah don't know what else to say about all that um it's perhaps a sign that I've played a little too much mist today if there can ever be such a thing. But yeah, it's, um, best of luck, um, Mr. Hey01, with um, whatever you happen to reinstall, whether it was um, Real Mist or Riven. Yeah, it's a good game. It's terribly maddening to play this stuff, but the artwork is beautiful. The soundtrack... Um, both the background music and the sound effects are just great. It's just the gameplay itself. I don't know. It's like one of the most challenging games I've played. And I play chess, so that says something. But yeah, I think I'm going to have to cut it here because I'm kind of at a loss. I mean, we played the organ. And what greater aspiration could there possibly be? Yeah, there's something about books and pages, and yeah, who knows? Those who have forgotten the story. Um, yeah, I don't want to spoil it for them. But there is a story and an adventure out there. But then we could just play the organ all day, so... Yeah. Either way. I don't know, it'd be fun to see if... I wonder if, um, <laughs> you know, Zug's computer would be capable of playing this, of course. Um, 
but I wonder if uh, he would fare any better than I would with this. Although, if I remember right, he had some challenges um, getting his computer to work with all his parts, but hopefully that does get resolved, because it'd be cool to see um, him play through this. Although, I don't... I really don't know anybody who's capable of playing this. So, um, yeah. I guess it's been quite the adventure here. I'll save my progress before I forget to do so. Boop. Bop. Alright. So yeah, thanks for watching. Um, it's probably going to be a while before I try Mist again, because, man, this makes my head hurt. But... If there's a lot of demand, who knows? Maybe I'll pick it up soon again. But yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.